Hey, what it do, everybody? It's your boy, King Crowder, checking back in with another edition of historical document that you should know and the information that is important to us now. Today's lesson will be a scope on one, one individual, Gomos Anaris de Nazara. Why is this individual important? This individual was of Portuguese descent, and he was the number one person that developed the ideology of race. Race was not a concept, idea, or belief before this gentleman came about it. What he did was he psychologically made the reference of darker skin, lower than, and essentially building what was known as white supremacy, supremacy or white superiority. This gentleman believed that people that were from Africa who had darker skin were working outside in the field were uneducated or less thin. He wrote about this ideology. He preached about this ideology. He verbalized this ideology. That is the reason why they actually had a transatlantic slave trade. He believed that blacks were less thin the poor, not, not all, all blacks were poor and less than, and that you could take them and control them as you would. Slavery was already a practice back in these times. However, the slavery that was kidnapping and taking those from the Western African tribes and shipping them to the Americas, that ideology became pervasive and it even became very pervasive of the taking over or the overthrowing of the Moors back in the European region of 1492. This gentleman developed that ideology and made that philosophy pervasive. He made the whole concept that white is better, it's more beautiful, it's more willing to be think upon, thought upon, even to this day. If you ever think about what that that in that whole mindset came from, everything could be extend back to this gentleman and the Portuguese. He was the main one that justified the actions of how they should be treated, less than based solely on skin tone. There was no such concept of race. There was no such ideology or way of thinking of race before this time. So we must give this gentleman, it's kind of bad when you think about throughout history who was known for developing a bad concept of race, but Mr. Dezora must be labeled that. We don't talk about him enough in history to acknowledge what he did and what was his most transgressions, but this gentleman was the first one to spark the ideology of racism race being a structure and how we view race in the America's groups until this day. The reason why this is such a phenomenal subject, because you must deconstruct the subject of race and colonization, which I will try to do way in here to break down why it was entrenched in our culture and how we must teach it and educate ourselves on it. Whatever stays in the darkness cannot be handled, discussed or talked about. Everything in the light will help and heal each other. And if we don't talk about these subjects from a beginning, middle to end standpoint, we will never be aware constantly of what's going on. Some people don't have to think about it. But one powerful quote that I always heard said, black people always have to play from a Hawaii standpoint, never from a home field advantage. All right, it's your boy King Crowder checking out. Just want to check back in with y'all, letting y'all know the history of race how it was started, the philosophy, the ideology, and how it still prays and pervasive to this day. Peace.